Good evening from London. This week, Britain is facing its biggest industrial action in modern history, as more than 40,000 rail workers walk out over job cuts, pay and conditions. Last-minute talks between unions and rail bosses are continuing but have remained unfruitful. Strikes are planned on most major lines on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, but disruption is also expected on non-striking days. The government has urged passengers to only travel by train this week if absolutely necessary. Heathrow Airport has told airlines operating from Terminals 2 and 3 to cancel 10% of flights today as the fallout continues following a baggage handling meltdown over the weekend. About 15,000 passengers due to travel on 90 flights are believed to be affected by the last-minute cancellations. The baggage system at Heathrow's Terminal 2 failed on Friday, causing chaos for passengers. Some were left waiting for over three hours for their luggage. Russia has become China's biggest supplier of oil as imports jumped 55 percent in May from a year earlier, pushing Saudi Arabia's imports into second place. Beijing has ramped up purchases of Russian oil as the Kremlin has sold the country discounted crude amid sanctions over the Ukraine war. The imports into China, which includes supplies pumped through the East Siberia Pacific Ocean pipeline and shipments by sea, totaled nearly 8.42 million tonnes last month, according to data from the Chinese General Administration of Customs. Sri Lanka's economic activity has been forced to grind to a halt for the next fortnight as the island nation has run out of fuel for transport and there are little signs of fresh supplies arriving. The government has ordered public sector employees to work from home while officials grapple with its worst financial turmoil in seven decades due to a combination of fiscal mismanagement and the COVID-19 pandemic. The country is in talks with the International Monetary Fund for a bailout package. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.